All right, so we have um, some practice problems here. Um, absolute um, dating, and the absolute dating relates to radioactive dating, uh, where we're going to have to get a number. There's going to be different types of problems that we're going to do. It'll be your goal to make sure that you know how to recognize the different types of problems and to answer them um, accordingly. So we read this question here. A bone was found to be. So we know the age of the bone. Uh, we also know that they're using carbon-14 and carbon-12 with a memorized half-life of 5,730 years. So the first thing that we can actually do is we can take the 34,380 and we can divide that by 5,730. And so um, you're going to need a calculator next to you uh, while we're doing these problems. And uh, so I'm just going to enter it on my calculator. So 34,380. We're going to divide that by 5,730. And that gives us six half-lives. So we now know that the parent isotope got halved six times. Now, if there was 660 grams of the parent isotope in the bone initially, how many grams are left now? So anytime you get grams, you always want to set yourself up with a parent to daughter ratio. And this represents the amount of parent that was in the bone uh, in the beginning or initially. And this is how many grams of parent isotope is in the bone now. So it says if we had 660 grams initially, so there's 660 grams initially, this problem will be done when we know how many grams are left right now. So what we have to do, we have to take this parent and we need to divide by two because it's a half. And we need to do it six times. So we're going to take 660 and we're going to divide it by two and we're going to divide it by two and we're going to divide it by two, divide it by two, divide it by two, and divide it by two. And our final answer comes out to be 10 decimal 3125 grams final answer. So we'll move on to um, the next problem and um, this problem simply says um, uranium-235 isotopes radioactively decay to become uh, lead-207. Um, the half-life value is 713 million for this isotope pair. Um, the rock was analyzed and it was found to have a ratio of um, 1 to 7. So Without even reading the question, as soon as I see a ratio of 1 to 7, I know that 1 eighth of the original parent remains in the rock, and that is um, a half, a quarter, 1 over 8. So that represents three half-lives. So we're going to get 1% for determining that there's three half-lives that have occurred. So now what we're going to do, we know the time that it takes for one half-life, which is 713 million. So we're going to multiply that by 3. And so when we do, we get 713 multiplied by 3, and the age of the rock is 2.139 billion years. So now we'll move on um, to um, the next problem. And so this particular problem says, a geologist discovered that there are 620 grams of parent remaining in the rock. So right away, I'm going to set up my parent to daughter ratio. In the beginning, this much parent, remaining. And so it just said 620 grams are actually um, remaining in a rock right now. And they're saying how many grams of the parent isotope was there in the beginning. So <clears throat> we know that the age of the rock is 3.93 billion. And so we're going to see how many times the amount for one half-life divides into the age of the uh, the rock. So we're going to take 3.93 and we're going to divide that by 1.31 and we're going to determine that three half-lives have occurred in this particular case. So whatever this number was of grams of the parent in the rock in the beginning, it would have got divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2, and the answer would have been 620 grams. So this is a case where we're going to be going backwards. So instead of dividing by 2, we're going to multiply by 2, and we're going to do it three times. So we're going to go 620 multiplied by 2 equals 
multiply by 2 equals, multiply by 2 equals, and our final answer will be 4,960 grams. That's the amount of parent that was in the rock in the beginning. Um, moving on to um, the problem, problem number 4. It says, the age of a rock was found to be 3.5 billion years old, with a half-life of 0 0.7 billion. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the age of uh, the rock, which is 3.5 billion, and we're going to divide by how long it takes for one half-life. So we've done this a number of times in these different problems. So 3.5 divided by 0 0.7 equals, so that tells us that we have four different half-lives that have occurred. So what fraction of parent remains? A half, a quarter, 1 over 8, 1 over 16, and 1 over 32. So 1 over 32 of the original parent uh, material remains um, in the rock. So just moving on to uh, the next problem. We have two more problems left. This one here just says we have 32 dark and 32 light sedimentary layers. So if we add that together, we will actually get uh, 64 layers. So the number of layers you need to divide by 2, and that will tell you how many verbs you have. So we have 32 verbs, which happens to be 32 years of sediment deposition, so the answer is B. On to the next problem, we have a ratio, you can see, and it's uh, 3.125 to uh, 96.875. So to reduce a ratio, what we do is we divide both sides by the smallest number. So we're going to divide both sides by 3.125. And so when we actually do that, what we'll actually find is um, we have 3. Point, uh, we have 96 decimal 875, and we're going to divide that by 3.125. And this comes out to be a ratio of 1 to 31, which is a fraction of 1 over 32. So a half, a quarter, 1 over 8, 1 over 16, 1 over 32. That tells us that we have five half-lives that occurred. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the five half-lives and multiply by 12,500. And once we do that, uh, we will get the final answer to be 62,500.